Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's just gonna be a bit of a smaller card break. So today I just have four loose packs of 2021 Upper Deck Parkhurst. Um, I decided not to get a box because I feel like the boxes for like 32 bucks at Walmart, I, I, I just don't think they're worth the money. Um, I just think a few loose packs would do, and I bought loose packs as opposed to fat packs because you get the same amount of hits, just less base cards. So I decided, you know, let's save some money. And a fat pack of 2021 OPG because you guys were all like, do OPG, oh, why is he not doing OPG? So I'm doing OPG. Not a box again because I'm on a budget, but it's still some, some more OPG. So let's start with the uh, OPG fat pack and then we'll move on to the four smaller Parker's packs. So, so let's open it here. Yeah, here. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, I can just slide them out the bottom. There we go. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the fat pack cost me $7.92. So that's just, yeah, at, at Walmart. So that's just something to consider. So I will be reading base since it's OPG, because um, I like reading base, I guess. So uh, Andreas Janssen, Arturi Lekkinen, Zach Sanford. Marcus Johansson, Vlad the Slav Gavrikov, Ryan Ellis, Jesus, there we go. Samuel Gerrard, Patrick Namath, Paul Stastny, Noah Hannafin, Barkov, Dante Favreau, Dennis Gurionov, Carl Haglin, Ryan Zingle, we have a Brayden McNabb, Blue. Christian Dvorak, Retro. A Braden Point, um, what are these called? Um, small cards? The, uh, um, skinny? What are they called? Tall Boys. So, the Tall Boy insert of Braden Point. Definitely a smaller card. So, that's pretty cool. Um, never really had a small insert before, so there you go. Ch retro Checklist, 501 to 600. Is one on the back? Yeah, there you go. Team Checklist, Philadelphia Flyers. We got a Marquee Legends Gold of Glenn Hall. Glenn Hall? Bobby Hall. Um, so, yeah, Marquee Legends Gold. So that's a pretty cool insert there. I'll have to sleeve that after. Everyone's, player, everyone's favorite player to love in the city of Toronto. Everyone's favorite player to hate outside the city of Toronto. Austin Matthews. Matt Barzell. Petra Demko. Michael Backlund, Kevin LeBanc, Taylor Hall, Checklist, 301-400, Joel Faraby, Paul Byron, Devin Dubnik, and Andre Murakovsky. So, not bad. Um, and for fact, we didn't get a single marquee rookie, so I guess that's a touch disappointing, but that's fine. So, I like the base design this year of OPG. They look, it looks very clean. I like it. Um, I obviously like um, the paper cards. They always... Yeah, OPG is meant to be a bit of a retro-ish series, and I think it, it's always going to be. So that's something there. Um, and I tried to find, like, my most, my coolest Parkers inserts, but there weren't many, because, I mean, it's Parkers. So I, I think I just, like, chose, like, random stuff, and I got a pretty cool lineup. So, I mean, there you go. Okay, now let's move on to Parkhurst. So... First pack, Parkers. Okay. Oh. So it'd be pretty nice if we got like a a um, a nice prominent prospects or something. I don't know. So Tyler Bozak. I and mean, this is the base design for Parkers. Pretty clean, um, glossy cards. So that's something, I guess. Kim Atkinson, uh, Nikolai Ehlers. Darnell Nurse, we have, so it looks like we got a silver Noah Hannafin, a, a Parkies Encore or something, and a gold, so, uh, Noah Hannafin, ooh, ooh, Jason Robertson, gold rookie, that's not about, it's not a for near, but I'll take it, okay, and next card, oh, he's, oh.
Alexis Lafreniere, prominent prospects. I was just talking about Lafreniere. Sheer timing. Alexis Lafreniere, prominent prospects. There have been issues with the prominent prospects this year with the corners being messed up, and it looks like ours is no exception. Um, I don't know if it can show on camera, but the corners are like actual crap. Like, they're really bad. Like, they're worse than the Young Guns uh, from Series 1. Like... Like, like, look at that. Come on, like. I mean, the Rainbow Leap feel is obviously very nice. Like, like, dude, like, what is that, bro? Come on now. Like, the corners are messed up. I'm, but I think, like, every single one would be messed up. It, like, but yeah, um, that's something, I guess, though. A nice left for near prominent prospects. Not the best corners, but everyone's been struggling with that um everyone's been struggling with that for 2021 uh upper deck products whether it's uh parker series one i have yet to open any series two um i'm not getting a hobby box just yet i but i think i will be in the future just not now and, um so yeah i mean that's the that first pack as well so i mean i'm not, I'm not complaining uh couturier seth jones bo horvat okay so, in Parker's, you are going to get a lot of inserts, just not very good ones. So, uh, that's that. So, there you go. So, there you go. I mean, that's not that bad. So, you know what? Uh, that's enough airtime for Drew and Suzuki. Let's just put these on the background. There you go. I don't really change the background halfway through the video, but now we have. <laughs> so, next pack. So these packs are actually quite easy to open. I'm really running through them like very well. Extremely easy to open. So that's something uh, pretty nice about Parker's, I guess. So, um, Drew Doughty, Richard Ponick, Alex Chason, Elias Lindholm, and a Mikey Anderson rookie. And I don't think base packs are a thing in like Parker's to MVP because they're really low end. So yeah, you're going to get a few inserts in every pack. So I mean, that's something. So there you go. Uh, Thomas Harley rookie. Two rookies in a pack. And Silver Script, Rasmus Ristolainen. All right. So that, those are some pretty good, um, those are some pretty good inserts there. Uh, Anthony Beauvillier, Rudolph Spalsers, and Vincent Trocek. So obviously not bad. Um, I would say that, like, um, most of these cards are, like, very mediocre. Uh, and Parker's... Not supposed to be that high up on like the lines of hockey cards. So I mean that's that I guess, but you don't try to look for an auto in Parker's. They, they exist actually, but like they're like one in seven hundred and fifty thousand packs or something like that. No, I'm joking. They're like one in four hundred packs, but it's very slim, so uh Hurdle, Barkov, Dustin Brown, Zabinajad, got an all star of Ryan O'Reilly. A Gabe Velarde rookie. Stone. Ekman Larson, who's maybe finding his way out of Arizona very soon. Shabbat and Vasilevsky. So I'm going to speed through the base for the last pack. Um, so, just because, I guess. So, oh, we got a gold script here. So, um, Backland Dumba. Uh, did I miss a card there? No. Ryan Brady Kachuk. Got a legend, Joe Sackick. Joe Sackick legend. Uh, he's also a legend at making trades in the box office of the Colorado Avalanche organization. So, yeah, Avalanche. Big favorites to win the Stanley Cup this year. Uh, Jacob Vorchek, gold. And that's pretty nice. Gibson, uh, Ekholm. Is that Ekholm? No, that's Ron Kugelmaldi. Lars Eller and Jacob Silverberg. All right, guys. So, that was four loose packs of Parkhurst and a fat pack of OPG. So this totaled me at around 20 bucks. So off very cheap break. Uh, didn't get a box, but that's fine. So with OPG, it's just retro, cool, nice looking cars. You know, you're not gonna get anything valuable. And with Parker's, it's almost the same thing, just it looks more modern, I guess. So, so not, not terrible, obviously not, not horrendous at all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. So yeah.